are you? Are you okay? Well, today is Monday, the, the 11th of May, and it's sunny and hot. I hope you are fine. We are going to check pages 28, 29, 30, and 31 from the activity book and the mistakes from your video. Remember to uh, see the comments I have sent you, because if you haven't seen the comments, comments I have sent you, it's going to be chino mandarín, ¿ok? Yes, is it clear? Entonces, mirad tus comentarios para poder entender sobre de, acerca de lo que yo estoy hablando y estoy explicando en clase. ¿Se entiende? Yes, teacher. Ok. Well, so first of all, let's correct pages from the activity book. Yes, ok. Uh, 28, 29, 30, and 31. And then we are going to uh, see the mistakes from the video. Yes. Um, los mistakes del video voy a ir a modo general porque cada uno ya tiene su error, sino los errores más profundos, ¿está? Y los de pronunciation, acordate de trabajar con el diccionario online. Yo repito las palabras acá, pero si vos te olvidás o te cuesta siempre esa palabra, yo quiero que vos estés con el diccionario online a mano, ¿está? Yes, teacher. Ok, let's go to, uh, very quickly, to page... Um, page... 28, 28, remember to put a tick or a cross, a tick if it is okay, a cross if it is wrong, ok? Ah, remember to share your videos, ustedes lo que me pueden ir ayudando, el que quiere compartir su video, lo puede compartir en el Facebook del Instituto Reino Unido, entonces queda ahí de recuerdo, digamos, ¿sí? Y de paso pueden ir viendo otras personas, que a lo mejor con la cuarentena no saben cómo estudiar inglés, no saben cómo hacer, porque nos ven de todas partes. Inclusive en el YouTube eh, nos están viendo de todas partes, ¿sí? Gente que necesita cómo hacer una clase, pueden ser teachers, pueden ser alumnos, pueden ser gente que quiera aprender en la casa, entonces nos están viendo, ¿sí? De diferentes lugares, ¿sí? Según me comentó David, que es el que se encarga de, de subir los videos, él está encargado ahora de toda la parte del classroom, ¿sí? De asignar las tareas, sí, 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 cada uno, igual que los teachers, tienen las actividades que tienen que realizar y que me tienen que mandar con respecto a las clases. David tiene asignada la tarea de manejar todo lo que es YouTube, ¿sí? Las clases que van subidas ahí, en ese servidor vendría a ser, ¿sí? Y lo que me pueden ir haciendo ustedes es compartiendo sus videos si quieren, porque yo les pido, can I share it, pero todavía no tengo tiempo. Voy poniendo de a uno, de a dos, si yo puedo, inclusive David va poniendo alguno que otro que le dio permiso para uh, compartir su video, ¿sí? Porque es enriquecedor para otras personas que a lo mejor no saben cómo hacerlo y hay muchos institutos que no le están mandando así de esta manera, entonces por ahí les sirve y pueden seguir practicando. ¿Qué les parece? Bueno, ok. Well, number one, play a, a music, a musical instrument. Two, watch a film. Three, meet friends. Four, play computer games. Five, do taekwondo. Uh, six, play golf. Seven, go walking. Eight, go to the gym. Okay. Well, this is number one from there. Okay. I want you to go to page twenty-nine and remember to highlight. The grammar chart, lie, la, plus the ing, okay? Highlight the grammar chart. And we're going to correct four from that page because the other are listening. Four, swimming, singing, living, going, running, watching, fishing, and cycling. Yes? Okay. So let's go to page 30, the reading. Ojo, our reading a conciencia, por favor. Yes? Okay? Concentrate. Okay, number one, D. Number two, B. Number three, C. Number four, A. Okay, is it clear? One D, two A, two B, three C, and four A. Exercise two. Are you there? Read the article. Yes, okay, and take the activities. Okay, two. One A, two B, three A, four A, five A, six C, 7B and C, 8A, C and D, and 9C. 3. 1. Never, 2. Always, 3. Sometimes, 4. Usually, 5. Um, okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. 
she doesn't doesn't often doesn't often okay and six often number four i often read a book before i go to bed one two i always go to work at eight three i don't often meet my family four i sometimes go go uh clothes shopping clothes shopping yes no clothes yes clothes shopping Yes, I always, I am always, acordate, cuando está el verbo to be, I am always busy. At work, I never take a lunch break, okay? Breaks. This is number four until page 31, so activity book is corrected. Remember, whenever you have uh, an adverb, you put I always go to ta ta ta. The adverb is here, after the subject. And if you have the verb to be, I am always happy, okay? I am never sad. My mother is never at home, okay? Is it clear? After the subject too, but, you know, the other, yes, okay? Is it clear? Good. So pay attention now, yes? Pay attention. Uh, let's go to uh, the mistakes from the video. Yes, the video mistakes. Yes. Okay. Uh, well. Agustín Ramírez. Uh, ojo con la pronunciation de la siguiente. Voy a ir largo porque tengo dos pages. Eh? Voy a ir apuntando a los errores más comunes. Leete vos tus comentarios, por favor. No dejes pasar. Porque la idea es, the idea is that you see the mistakes, correct the mistakes, for next uh, video, yes? So, it is supposed that you are going to be better in the next video, but just only, just only if you check. Because if you don't check the mistakes, you are going to be the same, the same, the same. Yes, is it clear? Yes, okay. Agustin, Bert, no me repite, no me eh, eh, pronuncies más, but, it's but, darling. Yes, okay? Así que concentro, 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 concentración, es la cosa que siempre te, te, no a vos solamente, a todos que siempre corregimos. Ok. Ramírez, a lot, born, a lot of talk, no talk, no walk, talk, yes, walk, playgrounds, studying, another useful tu tourism. Ok, tourism. Um, the city is in the north, yes, ok, um, But smaller than, no shorter than Ramírez, eh? Más pequeña, no más corta. There is a riverside, yes, costanera, riverside, yes, um, pedestrian area, también hay algunos que necesitaron que es para la parte de los, la senda peatonal. Yes, ok. Uh, there are a lot of restaurants. Bañado la estrella, no quiz, sino which is a very beautiful place, el which es, eh? Ok, uh, the University of Cuenca de Plata, which has got, está, entonces, siempre cuando decimos una persona es, my mother who is very beautiful, yes, quien, y por, para places decimos which, ok, uh, the city center is crowded, yes, there are a lot of taxis in the city, no remises, si sí, puedo decir remises, but in general here we only have remises, but in the rest of the, The world is, uh, they are, there are taxes, ok? Uh, for, otra vez, este error es muy común. For más ING, chicos, yeah? There is a little part for doing exercises. For uh, playing uh, tennis, yes? Uh, it is the biggest part in the city. Porque a veces habla muy bien, muy buena la fluidez. Ramírez, está muy fluido muy concentrado, recuerden que ahora va a ser, van a ser ustedes los que van a ser responsables de esta parte, de no estar leyendo algo y nada de memoria, porque ahí no nos va a servir, porque cuando volvamos a las clases, las, las, los orales, los oral tasks que hacemos, no son de memoria, no son leídos, ¿está? Entonces, don't cheat yourself, ¿ok? Así que estuvo muy bien esto, ojo a los sujetos, because it's a city with, because it is a city. No se olvide, estos son errores generales también, es que se comen el sujeto ahí. 
Yes, okay. Um, for having fun. Kata, estuvo más centrado el video este. It was better. Pero sigue habiendo errores de concentración. Porque la palabra beautiful, me imagino que la sabes pronunciar. Beautiful, think, country, weird, yes, okay. Think, asked, said. Acordate. Uh, people asked me. They told me. They said to me. Te lo puse ahí en los comentarios, ¿eh? Ok. Good. Um, if you want one city that is super quiet, go to Formosa. O come to Formosa. Yes, ok. Uh, I asked the people there. Yes. Where Formosa? What Formosa is? O where Formosa is? Está. Acordate que ahí tenés que poner dónde. No, eh, es una, indirect, una eh, pregunta indirecta. Entonces vas a tener que poner, I asked the people from Buenos Aires where Formosa is and they didn't know. Yes, ok. Um, Connie, ojo entre las palabras, life, life and live. Yes, the pronunciation there. Yes, ok. Bien, Connie. Thousand kilometers, medium. Yes, uh, Formosa is the most beautiful. Uh, si estoy evaluando comparativos, superlativos, concentrate en comparativos y superlativos. No con, en general estoy hablando. ¿eh? There are too many, ojo la diferencia en, entre, between too many and too much. Too many for contrast. There are too many uh, cities. There are too many people. Y too much para incontable. Too much sugar. Uh, too much... Um, Uh, con un incontable, yes, too much, no me acuerdo, que estoy pensando cuál era la que vos querías usar, yes, yeah? ok, pero acuérdate, too much money, too much, yes, ok, too, too many feelings, yes, too much love, porque el amor es incontable, si ¿sí? no es un amor, dos amores, está, yes, ok, too many contables, too much uncontable, yes, ok, um, there are a lot of bugs, Plural, de rar. Entonces, son cosas elementales, pero que cada uno se tiene que ir corrigiendo para mejorar de un video a otro. Porque acuérdate que yo te estoy evaluando en el video fluency, pronunciation, um, fluency, pronunciation, grama, grammar, yes, cómo usas la gramática. Está, así que te tenés que concentrar en todas esas cosas. ¿sí? Ok, Sabri, ojo con la pronunciación de description, yes, ok. Uh, it's a description of my city, no for my city, for visiting, también, for más ING, yes, ok, um, Formosa, has, estamos hablando de it, yes, for eating, varias veces, Formosa is bigger than Chaco, no bigues, atención, esto es, de un, esto es un contenido de tercer grado, lo repaso, lo van a seguir repasando porque... Siguen repasando el año que viene también, pero se unen cosas más. Entonces, doy un quick review de esto, pero se une cosas, ¿sí? Se unen nuevos adjetivos, ¿ok? Bigger than, for visiting. O sea, que ese for te concentras cada vez que lo vas a usar. Luana, uh, surrounded by dishes. Ojo la diferencia entre soup y soap. Soup y soap, ¿sí? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Uno es jabón. Y el otro sopa, ¿eh? ¿Ok? Good. Paraguayan soup creo que me quería ver qué dijiste. Uh, bla, bla, bla. Provinces. Pronuncien los, la, los, los sustantivos eh, plurales, please. Uh, rivers. Yes. Some rivers. Yes. De Corvina Fest. Y celebrated. Yes. No informosa y celebrate. Ok. De Corvina Festival y celebrated. In, ta, 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 herradura. Pilar, ojo, Pilar, estuviste más suelta. Me gustó este, no estabas tan dura, tan... Eh, yes, ok. Bad the pronunciation. Todos tienen on, eh, un diccionario online. Googlea la palabra si estás insegura y te corregís. Museums, hospitals, quiet, noisy. Ahora mismo puedes ir repitiendo después de la teacher. To, library, expensive. Ojo, bigger than misiones, no big than. Y... Parece que te pusiste de acuerdo con los comparativos ahí, Pilar, ¿eh? Ok, ojo, bigger than is the cinema is next to the hospital. There is a lot of traffic, yes, in my city. 
Uh, it isn't quiet, it's noisy. I love holidays, no vacations, yes, holidays. Necesitabas ahí, ¿ok? Y los plurales, beaches, shoppings, hospitals, yes, ¿ok? Good, library, yes. Santi, ojo, pronunciation, was, cold, center, clothes, no clothes, eh? clothes, listen to, talk, people. Um, it's uh, 140 and 40. Fíjate, Santi, si te escribí bien la palabra 40, eh? porque parece que se me escapó una U, según lo que tengo impreso acá, porque yo me imprimo. Así que, cuando empiezo a corregir, yes, one years old, um, yes, uh, ta, 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 140 ta, 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 years old. There is a long riverside, a long riverside, yes, okay, que sería costanera, riverside. The riverside is longer than the pedestrian, yes, the pedestrian zone is only one block, yes, there are new films, the cinema, uh, the cinemas are crowded, yes, the streets, plurales, are quiet, at the weekend people go, ta, 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 you can go to the riverside, o sea, eh, fíjense todas las cosas que les corregí, you can dance, no dancing, you can dance, porque venís trabajando con el, da, el can, can dance and can, ta, ta, ta. Renata, eh, ojo cuando me editas el video. La idea es que el video no tenga edición. Miren que este video, a no ser que yo me olvida algo en la última parte que les quise decir, edito. Pero no está editado. Es comienzo y sigue, 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 sigue. No pare, sigue, sigue. Don't stop. Entonces, si ustedes me mandan un video editado, yo realmente no puedo ver la fluidez que tiene. Ojo porque en algunas partes me sale como medio cortada la parte que estás terminando de decir, Renata, con respecto a la otra parte. ¿Sí? Le pueden agregar dibujitos, todo lo que sea, pero traten de no cortar tanto el video, ¿sí? Yes? Uh, pronunciation, ojo, Renata, talking, medium, always visited, to, clubs, day, museum, evolved, built, recent, recently, clothes, many, by. Muchos errores de pronunciación, Renata, ¿eh? Informosa, there is, yes, If there is, o oh, we have, de bañado la estrella. And a lot of people visit, no so much person. People, sí, es el plural de person, ¿está? There are a lot of people who visit. There is, at the San Martín, eh, we have San Martín, eh, a park, it's called, yes, there is the San Martín Park. Chicos, acuérdense que si ustedes le ponen there is the San Martín Park, están poniendo, hay un, una plaza San Martín. No, we have, yes, es a, a, a square. Its name is San Martín. Yes, okay. It's next to the ta 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 or in front of Capitulo. Yes, okay. Um, where you have fun with friends? See, ¿sí? sacale la café. Yeah, no coffees. Yes, coffee shops. And ta ta ta. No this herradura. Herradura. A place where you can spend the day. Yes, no pass the day, spend the day, yes. Uh, where there are animals to know, porque vos conoces animales, ¿sí? No los visitas, yes, meet people, encontrarse con, pero acá es conocer, ¿sí? No de meet, de encontrarse con alguien. Uh, 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 uh. It has evolved, si usan el diccionario o el traductor, ojo, yo prefiero que digan con sus palabras, porque evolve es un vocabulario que... Ah, sí, sino que Formosa uh, is famous now or oh, it's becoming famous because it is the most beautiful place children can have fun can walk, yes there are places, no se coma las S, yes bueno y hay algunos que me hicieron la descripción pero no pusieron comparativos, no pusieron superlativos y esa era la idea de este video description más comparativo más superlativo Renata Marsili Ojo con la pronunciación de Mountains, Theater, Libraries, uh, in the city center of Formosa. Yes, ok. The people are friendly, uh, people in Formosa are friendly and very funny. Fíjate si le puse list, are friendly, eh. Porque acá estoy viendo mi corrección. Pilar, ojo con la pronunciación de inhabitants. Uh, they are my dad, quisiste decir. Ellos son mi papá cuando empezás a, a presentar a tu familia. Um, Characteristics, squares, anniversary, anniversary, come, weather, since, match, 
I was born in the city of Corrientes. Yes, first, no for starter. Formosa has places with the, these characteristics. Riverside people come from other places, come to see what it's like here. Yes, muy bien. Uh, it is a very quiet and calm city. Yes, eh, pero tiene mucha fluidez, ¿ok? Igual yo no te veo a vos, así que confío en que no estés leyendo de un papel. ¿eh? Agustín, ver. Uh, ojo con la pronunciación. Agustín, la pronunciación es el tema. Vos, des, eh, tu video decía un montón de información, ¿sí? Muy completo, muy, muy completo. Una cosa antes que me olvide, Lucas, tu video solamente me hacía 10 segundos, eso es lo que te mandé en la notita, y no, no salía nada, solo 10 seconds. Mandámelo de vuelta, te lo escribí ya, ni bien me mandaste, pero bueno, se ve que no chequeaste el, los mensajes. ¿Sí? Agustín, o sea que estábamos en que decís mucho, me encanta porque das mucha información, muy buena la información, but, but, no but, but, pay attention in the a pronunciation center, um, Eh, espera que me olvide una de Pilar Sosa. For any other reason, since. Acordate la palabra since. Yes, no science, since. Um, bueno, fíjate que te corregí ahí en la grama. But, Agustín, restaurant, small, yes, because, also. Ojo con la gramática. It's bigger than, no longer than Tucumán, yes, más grande. Smaller, no shorter than Catamarca, yes, más grande o más pequeña. Formosa is the smallest city, yes, for lunch, otra vez. Uh, Formosa is one of the cleanest city. Formosa is the capital. People can call Formosa beautiful. Yes, in the riverside there are flags which represent. There is a flag, porque hay una which represents y agregale la s esa, sí. A flag that represents us, <coughs> which represents or that. In the entrance of Formosa there is a cross. Um, Bla, bla, bla. For having lunch también apareció acá el for. Les persigue ese for más bien es que, chicos. Eh? For enjoying. In the riverside you can find the Fedema Festival. It's crowded. It's celebrated. The festival of wood. Yes, my street is very, very quiet. The Inca del Carmen is also. Fíjate si escribí bien also porque acá veo que me sale un spelling. Uh, the same patron of the city. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world, yeah? Why am I doing this at home? Because we are in quarantine, yes, okay? Muy bien, ¿cómo cerraste el video también, sí? Con una conclusión, perfecto. Sigo trabajando, me sigo esforzando y voy a seguir mejorando. Let's go very quickly, porque esta parte es media boring, media aburrida, porque cada uno que lo tenemos que escuchar, solamente mis errores, sus errores, pero los errores del resto, pero los... Eh, los quiero mencionar, ¿sí? Para que vos en casa entiendas todo mejor, aunque está súper claro lo que te voy corrigiendo, ¿sí? Me tomo el, el trabajo de hacer todo perfecto para que lo entiendas en casa. Bueno, well, so I want you to go very quickly, very quickly, to pages. Atención, pay attention. 50, 51, 52, 53, and 56 from the class book, okay? You will have the photo pizarra as always. Yes, okay? So very quickly, let's go to the pages. Yes, put the date. First of all, I want you to put the date. Then leave the book there and pay attention to the teacher. Yes, okay? Put the date in all the pages very quickly. And now listen to the teacher because I will explain all the things you will have to work in the book, all right? Is it clear? Good. Well. Remember the first part of the class is for you to listen to my ideas and then at home you have to speak or describe the picture for three or two minutes, yes? And say what I want you to do, okay? I want you to repeat very quickly, yes, these sports. Baseball, come on. Basketball, boxing, cricket, cycling, football, Ice hockey, running, sailing, skiing, surfing, 
swimming and tennis and in this unit we are going to talk about extreme sports yes okay uh do you, would you like to practice extreme sports yes no why yes i want you to look at the picture remember at uh, the top at the bottom at the top at the bottom in the middle on the right on the left in the foreground in the background okay to describe pictures so you are going to see the pictures they are okay and you are going to choose uh, which sport do you like watching on TV and which sport do you like doing yes and if you like watching a sport on TV yes or practicing the sport yes okay there you have uh, the projection yes so you have uh, cliff diving yes okay skiing high lining mountain biking yes okay paragliding and surfing all these sports are extreme sports yes and which one would you like to practice and why yes okay uh, do you consider that surfing is a very extreme sport yes okay would you like to practice it yes why why not because you like the water no because I don't know I don't know swimming and I think it could be dangerous for me yes why which just which are the advantages and disadvantages okay and apart from that which sport do you like watching and which sport do you like doing this is the question yes for example I would like to do surfing because I think it is thrilling yes and and also paragliding yes but I wouldn't like to try skiing because it's very cold and I think it could be very, very dangerous in the, being in the snow, yes, and everything, yes? And apart from that, uh, do you like watching highlighting on TV? Yes? Do you, which, which of these sports do you like watching on TV? Yes, okay, I want you to think about this. Uh, it and talk at home about it yes okay about it yes okay um well so i want you to go um to the next question yes not in the book because i'm we are now leave the book there i have already put written the day but listen to the teacher now okay uh, i want you to tell me which export is popular is the most popular which sport from this is the most relax, relaxing and which sport from this is the most exciting for me the most exciting sport is surfing for me yes uh, the most popular too yes is surfing um the most relaxing well i think paragliding can be relaxing yes okay if you are not afraid yes of doing it it can be relaxing yes okay well uh swimming too is a, a sport that can be relaxing yes okay so pay attention now so this time was for you to talk at home yes okay para que lo hables en casa yes okay minutes Think about the sports they are. Espero que la teacher tiene una picture ahí en el Facebook que le mandó la otra teacher. Wait, quiero ver si había una que me faltaba. Wait, wait, wait.
Let me send adverbs. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Adverbios. Dictame alguno. Yes. Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. What else? What other adverbs can you dictate? Um, yes. Quickly. Quietly. Voy a escribir quietly. Voy a escribir quickly. Yes. Ok, acordate, los adverbios, ¿qué pasaba con los adverbios? ¿Tengo la picture ya? Ok, modificaban a un verbo. Entonces, ¿yo qué voy a hacer? I can, vamos a hacerlo con can, speak English. ¿Y qué voy a poner? Very well. Ok, ¿cómo hablas inglés? Very well. Yes, okay. I can um I can finish my homework. Quickly. Okay? Is it clear? Yes, you can put a bit. Yes. Very well, okay? Good. Um How can you swim? Yes, okay. I can swim. I can swim. Yes, quickly. Yes, okay. Quietly. Ay, chicos, escribí igual lo mismo ahí. Quietly. Yes, okay. Okay, ¿qué puedes hacer tranquilamente? Yes, I can play quietly. I can play quietly. Entonces te vas a poner can más un verbo, I can play, I can cook, I can cook deliciously. Yes, for example. Yes, okay. Is it clear? So I want you to um, think about some adverbs at home and write three sentences with I can plus the, uh, the adverb. Okay, is it clear? I can play quietly, I can speak Guarani very well, I can speak English very well. Uh, can, you, uh, can you open the door slowly, please? Can you open the door slowly? Remember, you have well, ¿sí? Que es irregular, uno decís good, ¿está? Acordate, well, que es un adverbio, irregular, yes, well. Yes, I can speak English very well. Yes, okay. And then you have qua quick, quickly, quiet, quietly. ¿Qué le agregas? Muy bien. L -I. Yes, slowly. Slow is the, sub, the, um, the adjective. Y le agregas la I. No hay mucho difícil. Lo único que tenés que hacer ahora es write. Three sentences in your notebook, in a cuaderno de inglés, put the date, remember to put the date, and write three sentences with I can. Entonces, un adverbio modifica un verbo. I can speak. ¿Cómo puedes hablar? Yes? Slowly. I can speak English. Well. Okay? I can um, work. Puedo trabajar. Quietly. Is it clear? I can, más el verbo, más el adverbio. ¿Está? Ok, three sentences. No more than three sentences. Ready, set, go. Now is the time that you will pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? I will continue. So, in the first part of the class, we have, uh, we analyze the mistakes. Then, uh, we corrected the activity book. Then, I introduce extreme sports. You have to say if you like extreme sport, yes or no. And if you like, what do you prefer? Watching stream sports, yes, or doing stream sports? Why, why not, okay? And which sport is the most exciting, the most popular, the most um, relaxing? And then you have the adverbs, yes? You use I can plus the verb plus the adverb, yes? I can speak English very well. I can speak Guarani very well. I can do uh, my exercises very well. I can work very quietly. I can uh, run quickly. Yes, I can do 
my exercises of maths very slowly. Yes. Okay. Is it clear? There is no sound barrier of maths. I can or can't. Yes. I can't run quickly. Can you open the door slowly, please? Yes. Is it clear? So, jugar con los poren, una afirmativa, una negativa, affirmative, negative, or interrogative. Okay. Three sentences only plus the adverb. Okay. Can't, verb plus the adverb. Okay. So, uh, then. Te voy a explicar todo lo que vamos a hacer hoy, lo que yo tengo que introducir. Después vos vas a tener esto en la foto pizarra y hoy tenemos tarea write an email, ¿ok? Is it clear? You have to write an email, yes, ¿ok? You have an email explanation there, yes, the tips for writing an email, yes, ¿ok? So, um, yes, ¿ok? You have the tips, you have to begin the email with dear, yes, and the name, dear Brett, coma, yes, acordate que no van los dos puntos ahí, dear fulanita, coma, si se puede acercar un poco aquí, un poquito más, la picture, yes, dear Brett, coma, yes, begin your email, email with dear fulanito, dear fulanita, coma, then two, begin your email with thanks or the reason you are writing, Yes, okay, the reason why you are writing. Yes, okay, so thanks for your email. You do lots of sport at school in Canada. I like to, I love to play ice hockey one day. Sí, se ve que la chica le escribió un email sobre las actividades que hacía. Ahí está bien. Yes, okay, then uh, you have to divide the email in paragraphs. Atención. Atención, atención. No vas a dejar renglones. Vas a dejar sangría. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Sangría. Que es el espacio. Borro esto. ¿Sí? El espacio que tenés que dejar acá. Vos pones thanks. Comenzás con mayúscula. Thanks for your email. Seguís, seguís, seguís. Cuando comenzás el segundo párrafo, uh, in uh, my city, ta ta ta, ta ta ta, ta ta ta. Después comenzás el tercer párrafo, finally, coma, ta ta ta, ta ta ta, ta ta ta. Por favor, deja sangría, porque lo venimos explicando desde tercer grado. ¿Sí? Entonces, la sangría va a, separar, va a separar los párrafos. No va a hacer falta que pongas un asterisco, un puntito, nada. Dejar sangría, ¿está? Y es por ahí en los, en los libros vas a ver que tiene esto, pero vos tenés que dejarlo sangría, tenés que dejar sangría, ¿está? Porque los libros por ahí eh, dejan el espacio ese, ¿sí? La sangría es lo que me va a dividir en párrafos. Cada párrafo va a tratar, párrafo, perdón, se me escapó una S, va a tratar de un um, hecho distinto, de un tema distinto, ¿sí? Yes? ¿Ok? So, begin your email with thanks or the reason. This paragraph has got one idea. Number four, this paragraph, paragraph has got another idea. And number five, end your email, write soon with your name. Write soon, coma, your name. ¿Está? Acordate, día fulanito, coma. Finish, write soon, la fulanito total, see you soon, coma, y tu firma. ¿Ok? Uh, we do lots of sport at school. We've got a swimming pool. Yes, our class can go swim. Go swimming every Wednesday. Uh, we also play tennis, volleyball, blah, blah, blah. You can touch the ball with your hand. Bueno, le explica ahí. Y en el otro párrafo, there are lots of after school sports. Entonces, en un párrafo habla de los sports que se hacen en la escuela. And in the other paragraph, the after, sport, uh, after school sports in Australia. Yes, y te describe, I go surfing, yes, the day. Uh, you go to the beach and you, have, you can learn some surf, yes, how to... Surf, yes, and then the ending, yes, uh, write to me, or write, mira, si quieres poner, escribime, vas a poner, write to me soon, y si quieres escribir pronto, vas a poner, write soon, is it clear? Si vas a poner, write me, no va, eh? write to me, como listen to, está, eso con respecto a esto, no te olvides de dejar sangría, is it clear? Sí, que en la primera parte, cuando escribís con la mayúscula, ahí comienza tu sangría, este espacito que queda ahí, ¿sí? 
seguís escribiendo, porque vos no, se, no escribís a esta parte, acá no vas a escribir, vas a escribir acá, sigo, sigo, acá está tu letra, and, but, uh, because, qué sé yo, ¿está? Y después a esta misma altura comenzás, the other day, ta, 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 uh, and, ta, 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 uh, many, ta, 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 ¿se entiende lo que explico? Entonces, esto tiene que estar, acá comienza, esta es tu sangría, no se deja sangría en todos los renglones, ¿sí? ¿Se entiende? Bueno, eso te tienen que explicar, te tendrían que haber explicado en el colegio, cuando haces el lengua y literatura, qué sé yo, pero si no te lo explicaron o si vos te olvidaste, te explicar a ti, che, porque quiero que se haga así, para que vos aprendas ya. La sangría va a separar los párrafos, ¿sí? Cada párrafo tiene una idea diferente de la cual vos querés hablar. ¿Y se clear? Ahora sí, let's go to the book, ¿yes? Can you open the door quickly? Yes, I can open it slowly. No, not slowly. Come on. Let's go. Let's go very quickly. Pages 50, 51, 52, 53 and 56. Okay, nota hoy tenemos revisión de la unidad 4, la clase que viene. Vamos, stay at home, pero no nos atrasamos, ¿eh? Okay. Good. Que la vida sigue, las clases siguen y vamos a ver si ya salimos de este tema y nos vemos pronti, pronti, pronti. Soon, soon, soon. ¿Ok? Good. Let's go to page 50. Remember, you will have to pause the, the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Yes? All right. So I will go very quickly. Uh, prepare your highlighter. Remember to highlight all the uh, words, the mass words, the new words, the keywords, plus the grammar charts. ¿Ok? Is it clear? Good. So we are on page 50. There we are. Param, param. I want you to highlight baseball, basketball, the words we repeated before. And then in exercise 3, exciting, popular, relaxing. And then the grammar can or can't plus adverbs. Okay? Is it clear? And then we have the... Um, the, um, the text there. I want you to highlight... Cliff Dive, tomate el tiempo y buscalo vos. Cliff Dive, en el paragraph 1. Adrenaline, Highline, uh, Peaceful, yes, and then the word Adrenaline que está abajo, yes, ok. So I want you to do exercises 1, ya está hecho porque lo hablamos. Exercise 2, 3, 7, Highlight the chart, okay? Yes, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers. I will go to the corrections, okay? Good. Um, two. One D, two B, and C. Three A, four, all of them. Yeah? Okay. Number three. Exciting. Skiing can be exciting, football can be popular, yes, and swimming can be relaxing. We have already talked about that. Number four, no, okay, good, 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 good. I want you to go to seven, yes, okay, good, seven, can, two, can, three, can, can't, four, can, five, can, six, can't, can, one, two, and three, and seven, contain adverbs. One, two, three, and seven contain adverbs. Yes, okay? Good. Um, well, I want you to read uh, life diving, highlining, paragliding, mountain biking. Yes, read them, yes. Um, paragliding can be a very, a very a peaceful activity, sport too, yes, okay? Um, and a very, a very dangerous for me uh, is uh, highlining. Yes, okay, it's, oh my God, it's dangerous. Yes, okay. It must be a great adventure there. Oh my God. Yes, I don't want, I don't want to try this sport. Yes, okay. Let's go to uh, 52. Yes, it's very dangerous for me. 52, yes. Ah, a gap year, yes, I want you to highlight in that page, on that page, talking about abilities and interests, the chart there, 
and here this chart club volunteer volunteer working work gap year and orphan orphan yes do you know what a gap year is is the year between the school and university when some young people travel and work in other countries so the year between school and university some people take uh, the year would you like to take a gap year yes or no to work yes uh for studying yes would you like to do that or for traveling yes okay so i want you to read the website and answer the question what does the website offer what are the top three volunteer jobs yes okay gap year volunteer work would you like to do some volunteer work have you ever done some volunteer work yes uh, would you like to have some people there to teach english maybe yes work with young children uh young kids yes okay around the world yes i want you to think about that read it yes okay and maybe uh, you can take uh, a gap year yes to uh relax but help yes uh but to help people yes okay good one um yes number two we have already talked about that yes if you go if you would like to take a year gap, a gap year yes uh if you do voluntary work here in formosa yes how often do you do voluntary work or if you like uh if you would like to um do voluntary work volunteer work volunteer work voluntary work okay um let's go very quickly to the listening we are going to uh, do four yes two yes okay and what well, are you there okay number one yes okay volunteer jobs abroad yes okay number two one helping lions in zambia two writing a newspaper in bolivia three teaching english to young children all over the world the world yes okay let's go to number four yes are you good at teaching do you think you are good at teaching yes are you interested in animals yes are you um uh good at writing maybe yes okay think about your skills yes in what you can help do voluntary work Yes, okay. Uh well, let's go to listen, okay? Track 45, Unit 4D. Remember you come who at highlight the chart. Good at plus ing i am good at painting yes i am interested in teaching yes is it clear all right i they got interested in get the key ahí abajo con red hello gap year volunteer work can i help you yes hello i'd like some information about your gap year jobs i'm a student and remember you have to tick the expressions you hear there in this chart okay yes gap year volunteer work can i help you unit 4d hello gap year volunteer work can i help you yes hello i'd like some information about your gap year jobs I'm a student and I want to travel next year. Do you have any interesting volunteer jobs? Sure. We have a job for English teachers. Are you good at teaching? Uh, take me. I don't know. I can speak English well, but what other jobs are there? Take the the phrases, yeah, please. Uh. Can you write? There's an English newspaper in Bolivia. They need journalists, but it's for 18 months. No, I can't go for 18 months. 
And I'm not very good at writing. Is there anything else? Do you like animals? Yes, I love them. Well, we have a job in Zambia. It's with lion cubs. Wow, that sounds interesting. What's the job exactly? Okay, well, are you good at teaching? Do you like animals? I can't speak English. Well, I can't go to a uh, go for 18 months. I'm not very good at writing. I love them. Okay, let's go to uh, page 53 very quickly. Yes, and these are short emails. Yes, short emails. Okay, so. Uh, how do you communicate? The question is, how do you communicate with people? Yes, from your age. Good, through text messages, uh, through Instagram, through uh, Facebook, yes, uh, WhatsApp, okay? And who are uh, the people, how do you communicate with your grandmother or grandfather, for example? Yes, okay. Through text messages, okay. Uh, what else? You talk on the phone, better than texting, okay? Do you think it's better than texting, okay? Well, um, this, uh, on this page, yes, you will have in exercise five, is the homework you will have, apart from the activity book pages, from the pages from the activity book, is to write two short emails to a friend or someone you work with, okay? Is it clear? 50 words. Yeah. Vamos a quedar en 30 palabras, ¿sí? Porque son dos cortitos, ¿yes? Ok. Um, vas a tener la foto pizarra. ¿Yes? Y te voy a poner, como son dos emails, haceme en la... Atención acá, ¿eh? Porque si no me hacen cualquier cosa, ¿yes? En la misma página que me escribís, en la misma hoja, o si no me mandes hojas separadas, mandame en un PDF, en, en un archivo, las mismas... Eh, los mismos emails. Vas a escribir. You are going to write two emails, but short email. Each email is going to have 30 words. One email, 30 words. The second email, 30 words. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Well, uh, quedamos entonces en 30 palabras, each one. 30 words, each one. Okay? Good. Number one, message one, ask for help with something at work. So you are having a problem at work and in this email, in this email, you will have to ask, the topic will be ask for help. Remember to start with your fulanito, ta ta ta, organize your ideas, be careful when you write the sentences and one thing, check before handing in. Because if you don't check before handing in, you will still have so many mistakes. And the, uh, the thing is that you have less mistakes. Yes, okay? Haceme caso. Yes, okay. And in the second one, you have to uh, invite your partner somewhere. For example, the restaurant and blah, blah, blah. Okay? 30 words. No more than 30 words. Okay? Respeta la consigna. Yes, okay. Por eso te voy a poner 30 words each. Okay. Lo expliqué en clase, ¿eh? Porque hay gente que se va a quiere hacer la tarea, pero sin mirar la clase. Okay. No, no way. You have to uh, watch, do this, um, the things, listen. Porque vos te fijaste que yo en la clase de hoy presenté tema, tema de stream sports, presenté cómo hacer un email, qué tener en cuenta para el email. Entonces, si vos vas y haces el email, te olvidaste de la sangría, te olvidaste del ending, te olvidaste de organizar los párrafos, ¿qué me doy cuenta yo? Oh my God, this student haven't seen the class at all. ¿Es it clear? Y ahí sí me da el ataque virtual. Ahora que es todo virtual, está de moda el ataque virtual que siempre me ha agarrado a mí, ¿ok? Bueno, uh, well, so I want you to do, this is the explanation of the homework, yes, ok? Uh, well, we were talking about how you communicate. So we communicate through messages, through WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp, through Instagram, through fa Facebook. But whenever we choose to talk to uh, all the people, yes, we I prefer I prefer to talk on the phone. Yes, okay. But there are some uh, grandparents that are very modern. Yes, okay. They use uh, 
um, the, um, they use technology very well. So they use, they can use technology very well. Can, mas verbo, mas adverbio. Okay, good. Um, well, I want you to do exercise two from page 53. Yes, are you there? Okay, pause the video, then listen to the answer. Work, two, five, and six. Three time, one, three, and four. Okay, work, two, five, and six. Yes, which are about free time, which are about work, and free time, one, three, and four. Yes, okay. Um, well, shall we do exercise uh, four? Exercise four, okay? Pause the video, then listen to the answers. Number one, I like Joe's cafe. Can we meet there? Two, I have your letter. Can you come and get it? Three, do you like Mexican food? The cafe downstairs does it at lunchtime. Uh, in my office, so meet me here. Uh, Ole can't finish his work. Can you help him? Matt and Suki are late, please call them. Seven, I like the new nightclub. Can we go there? Can you buy uh, a new computer? This one is very old. Okay? Bueno, a ver un poquitito. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. Okay. Twenty words. Háganme cada mensaje en veinte palabras. Yes? Okay? Veinte palabras is okay. 20 words each one, because they are short emails. Okay. Está 20 words. Léete bien la consigna, ¿ok? Uh, the um, explanation of the homework is done. You have the pages from the activity book. Yes, ¿ok? Let's go very quickly to page 56, ¿ok? Page 56, ¿ok? I want you to do exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Do it. Now is the time that you pause the video and then listen to the answers, okay? Good. Remember next class we have revision, yes? That's why we are doing page 56. A esta altura ya te acostumbraste que viene eh, las páginas, primero damos la introducción, A, B, de la, de la unidad 4, A y B, Después viene C, D, eh, C, D, F, C, C, D, E. Saltamos video y vamos a la revisión. Y después viene video watch y después comenzamos ya la unit 5. ¿Ok? Acordate que son, uh, tenemos 12 units. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Vamos, vamos que estamos bien. ¿eh? ¿Ok? Bueno, well, um, exercise 1. Yes, ok, complete the sentences with the ING form, ok, entonces vos te tenés que estudiar acá, que después de love, like, don't like, hate, el verbo va con ING, ok, is it clear? Good, number one, swimming, playing, going, listening and watching. Number two, write sentences about people at their free time, Shelly, acordate, never, sometimes, usually, often, Uh, hardly ever, are adverbs of simple present or present continuous? Simple present. And when you use when do you use present simple? For things we are doing now or for routine? For routine, okay? Shelly never watches TV. No te comas la S porque estamos hablando de la tercera persona. Chris often watches TV. Annette, Annette goes to the cinema once a month, once a week, twice a week. Y después ya viene three times, four times, five times, okay? Chris plays computer games every day. Chris sometimes goes to the cinema. Annette doesn't often play. Ahí ya no va la S porque está doesn't. Doesn't often. Doesn't often play. I don't usually go. Yes, ok. Atención. Aquí va a ir el, el adverbio, ok. Ay, Dios. Oh my gosh. Uh, she doesn't always smoke. Okay, en el verbo. Is it clear? Yes. 
Eso es lo que te testeamos en, la, en, la, en el exercise 2. Let's go to exercise 3. Match the question with the answer. This is very easy. 1C, 2B, 3E, 4A, 5D. Exercise 4. Ok. Good. Running, camping, football, the guitar, a musical instrument, the gym, sport. Ok. Number 6. Ball, water, 3 Water, ice, snow, team, and mountain. Yes, okay? Estudiate todos los uh, sports. Yes, okay? Good. Exercise seven. What do people like doing in their free time? I like gardening. I like working. I love teaching. I love reading. Is it clear? Yes, okay. So let's go. One, gardening. Walking, two, taekwondo, swimming, three, playing golf, playing computer games, watching football. Number eight, at, yes, good at, yes, speak English well. Acordate que no puedo decir good, sino well, porque well es el adverbio, es irregular. No le agrego goodly, eh. Ojo, ojo, que por acá aparece, play, very well, y do. Yes, is it clear? All right. And uh, number nine. Yes, complete the questions. Yeah. Do you like cooking? Are you good at swimming? How often do you play tennis? How well can you dive? How well can you play football? Okay. Well, this is all. So I hope to see you next class. I hope the class uh, you have enjoyed the class. Yes. Okay. Pay attention to everything. Tenemos todo, tenemos todo súper recorregido, está todo súper guiado. Así que no te queda más que organizarte y seguir las clases uh, con mucha onda y con muchas ganas. Ok. Uh, stay at home, study, yes, do your homework, yes, and um, see you next class. Bye bye, second year.